Hey guys, what's up? This is UM, and it's my return after a lengthy absence. I uh, want to apologize for any of you guys that have uh, subscribed lately and hope for new videos. I've been really behind on that, but I've had a lot of things going on in my life right now and uh, just haven't had time. And for that, I do apologize. Um, I want uh, to once again thank all almost 450 of you for uh, subscribing. It's really cool. Never thought I'd even get this many subscribers at all. Uh, especially with all the other really great uh, reviewers out there that just uh, constantly put out stuff. I wanted to try to do that, but not in the cards. Um, so I thought I'm going to come back. For, uh, I'm going to have a few videos made up for you guys to just show you that I do want to still make new videos. Uh, and I kind of wanted, for my first video, I wanted to come back with a little bit of a classic that I don't see too often. Because I do still watch YouTube to see what uh, other people are reviewing. And uh just don't see too many of this guy up. So uh, I thought I would go ahead and do a review of him. Be doing a review of uh, G1 Defensor. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, just come. I'll do these one by one, and I think I will start out with Streetwise, who's you can plainly see is a police car. Nothing really that spectacular about him. Um, he's one of those really odd ones that happens to have a tab that's not his head. There were a few of those by the end. Um, has a pretty odd transformation too for one of these. Uh, gotta get this all unlatched because these parts fit into his hand like that. Alrighty, go ahead and flip that. There's a spectacular robot mode. Um, alright, so that would be, uh, Streetwise for you. Next up, I'll be doing Groove, who is a, appears to be a Goldwing modeled police car of sorts. Uh, it's probably not one of the, uh, greatest Transformers I've ever seen in my life. It's Bike formers really don't don't get that great of a reputation anyway in the Transformers community. It's pretty it's a pretty uh there really wasn't much to that, you know. I'm sure you could come up with inventive ways, kind of maybe put the front of the bike, but just kind of just fits behind him. I mean, it's not really that great of a transformer. But, uh, yep. Alrighty. Next up, I'll be doing probably the most prominent member of the, uh, Protecto Bots, that would be, uh, First Aid. This is going to send the Looks back while well, this pulls out, and that comes out just like that. All very simplistic transformations. Let's go ahead and pull the arms out from there. There you go. Not a bad one for you know the this type of uh, you know first aid is probably my favorite so far. I mean even though Streetwise is a very unique transformation, I think first aid probably looks the best. And of course, last well, of the limbs will be blades. And just go ahead and fold those up like that. And you split his tail, and they got the little holes there that these the side rudders fit into. And you just go ahead and pull legs out like that. And go ahead and nail his arms and push that back. There you go. All fairly simple. 
Okay, and then we're going to get to Hotspot, who is one of my favorite leaders. And he has a basement. I'm not going to show it to you. You can go online and find pictures of it. Plenty of people have taken pictures of him, of him in his uh, base mode. But I do want to show you something. For any of you who do not own a Defensor, Hotspot probably comes with some of the most, probably comes with the most accessories I've ever seen that came with a leader, base leader. Those are parts. And when I ordered my Hotspot, I had made sure it had to be complete because trying to amass these parts singly on like eBay or something, that will end up costing you quite a bit. So I just went ahead and bought them all together and I was quite stunned at how much stuff he came with. So I'll go ahead and move all that stuff out of the way and we'll get him started. Um, first thing I like to do is move this over like this. And is that, does have an extending ladder. And look at that. I'm going to lift that up. Now I'm going to, that is a long ladder. <laughs> That's something you just don't see with Transformers anymore. Is that, I mean, even like the, the new Inferno, the G2 Inferno that came out in the, uh, um, came out in the Universal line. That gun, I mean, he doesn't even have a ladder. So go ahead and pop his fist out. Alright, and go ahead and move that up. Then go ahead and guns in. He's got little holes here for in his base mode and when I put him in defense uh, defense or mode I go ahead and just stick these in. The little holes here that fit these um, hoses. I just tuck them in behind him but I'll do that when I turn him into defense or. Alright so there's hot spot. I'll give you a close up of his face. He has a pretty cool looking face. And I'll go ahead and bring them all out. I'll zoom up for you so they do. All right, there's all there's them there's the Protector bots in their robot mode, and I'll be coming back, showing them in their limbs before I put them together as Defensor.